Throughout time, women's tennis has changed. Like all other major opportunities, women had to fight for equality. Women have fought to be respected in the work world, athletic world, and the community. Even though tennis has not always been equal for men and women, countless acts like the battle of the sexes has given not only rights, but respect to women who play the game. Tennis was first brought to the U.S. by Mary Ewing Outerbridge. She went on a tropical vacation to Bermuda where she learned the game. She then came back to the United States where her brother built a lawn tennis court at the Staten Island Cricket and Baseball Club. She shared what she learned to others. It spread like wildfire throughout the United States. Soon after, in 1884, they had opened up an entire draw for women at all four of the Grand Slams, Wimbledon the last to accept due to its high class and strictly enforced traditions. But women were still not equal to men. Women could not get a credit card on their own in the United States without a male um, signing off on it. Prize money, and arguably the most important, respect was still not relevant. Women tennis professionals were only awarded a silver basket of flowers worth 20 guineas or $21, and the men were awarded a gold prize worth 30 guineas or $31.50. Fast forwarding in history, to prove that men deserve more than women, Bobby Riggs, a retired male tennis professional, challenged Margaret Court, the world number one, to an exhibition match. A 55-year-old guy, if he'll stay on his vitamin pill program, take those 415 vitamins every day, and jog and train and you're, keep his tennis up, why, you can last and uh, beat those girls forever. Bobby Riggs was a self-proclaimed male chauvinist and loved to gamble and make bets. He always thought the male gender was much more dominant than the women. Margaret Court hoped to show him wrong, but couldn't quite get it done. In fact, Bobby Riggs crushed her, defeating her with the scores 6-1, 6-2. Feeling high off his win, he cockily challenged Billie Jean King. King was a very active feminist when it came to tennis and was a firm believer in equal pay. She was a model to look up to as a female, whether you play tennis or not. She was reluctant to accept the offer because she knew if she lost, it would set women's tennis back 50 years. However, she realized that even if she declined the offer, it would still be a setback told me, uh, coming from Japan, that I said, who won the match? And she said, Riggs. I went, oh, no, I'm going to have to play. She reluctantly accepted the offer and began to prepare for the battle. The Battle of the Sexes took place on September 20th, 1973, at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. More than 30,000 people were in the stands, and 50 million people watched on TV. King knew that she had to play her very best to win. She focused and ended up winning the match 6-4, 6-3, 6-3. King was rewarded $100,000, which made her the first woman professional athlete to earn over $100,000 in a year. King knew she had accomplished something great, and it would finally change women's tennis for the better. I don't know what it was like for Billie Jean King to play Bobby Riggs in, in, in that huge stadium in, in Houston. She must have been nervous. It must have been a lot of pressure because Bobby Riggs was talking a lot of smack. But being the hero that she is, you know, she stood up for us. She stood up for women's sports, not just tennis, but women's sports and just women in general. After the battle, people started talking. They decided to pass a bill called Title IX. This law states that if a school has no girls sports teams for a sport, and a girl wants to play that sport, the school must allow that girl to play on the boys team. This law greatly increased the amount of girls participating in sports. Title IX, which was June 23rd, 1972, where federal funds going to private or public high schools or college or universities would get equally spent on both genders for the first time. So, um, you know, I know if you live outside of the United States, but it's huge. Now we have more women at universities. A couple of months later, in 1973, Billie Jean King founded the Women's Tennis Association, or the WTA. This association formed the Women's Tennis Circuit, allowing for women to be involved in more tournaments other than the four Grand Slams. Out at the Los Angeles Tennis Club, it was a very quiet day, and the sun was setting, and there's nobody around. And I just, I said, you know what? This game has white people, white clothes, white socks, white shoes, white balls. Where's everybody else? The next year, in 1974, King founded two organizations that promoted equal rights for women athletes. They were called Women's Sports Magazine, 
and the Women's Sports Foundation. This is ridiculous. We all should have equal rights and opportunities. People are finally accepting women as equal athletes to men. We owe the tour to Billie Jean King and the original nine and everyone that made all those sacrifices to make this tour that we play on. The next big question was equal pay. There were many acts to try to get equal pay enforced. Finally, in 2007, after 34 years, all their work had paid off. All four Grand Slams awarded equal pay to both men and women. Billie Jean King has done so much for our sport, um, and it's one of the things that she always talks about, the importance um, of doing good for the next generation that comes up, and, and that was her goal. I personally um, think that it wouldn't be so international, it wouldn't be so globally recognized. Prize money certainly wouldn't be where it is today. This relates to our theme of rights and responsibilities because it was a fight for women athletes to become equally respected as men athletes. They gain the right to participate and earn equal pay in the same events as men. Billie Jean King was one of the many women that fought for these rights. But as time goes on, women have the responsibility to keep these rights evident. They can't take these rights for granted, and they must be grateful for them. They also should be willing to fight for them as if somebody is trying to take them away. Countless acts like the Battle of the Sexes has given not only rights, but respect to women that play the game even though tennis has not always been equal for men and women. Millions tuned in to watch the match of the century, praying for an upset. Once Billie Jean King won, it really set the stage for what could come of women professional athletes. I have a job because of Billie Jean King and a job that I love, and it's the truth. As Billie Jean would say, the main thing is to care, care very hard, even if it is only a game you are playing.